Greetings everyone, Dean here. Just joining you from my backyard here in my hometown of Windsor, Ontario. I just want to take a second to thank everybody that's been watching my most recent videos and commenting. I really do appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. Um, just a quick couple thoughts. Um, if you are watching the videos, it really means a lot to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, I would really love it. Um, analytics kind of prove that like 70% of the people that watch almost all creators videos aren't subscribed. So if you could go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like, and uh, even the comments really help a lot as well too. So, but other than that, thanks for watching and I really do appreciate it. Um, those that have been watching have noticed that I started uh, putting out a, a couple videos from the ride home um, mainly because I wanted to thank people that had helped me out. Um, I wasn't really sure if that was the right route to go and it turns out that uh, as I was making them it just didn't feel like the way to do it and as I get uh, to the videos that are closer to my hometown it kind of also was uh, occurring to me that when I do start the videos of the trip me leaving Windsor to ride to Quebec there would, there would be a lot of overlap of what you were seeing um, closer together. So um, what I've decided to do is I'm going to go away from the trip home videos and I'm going to start with my ride from Windsor and uh, get that going. I had time to go through all... Stupid Blue Jay. <laughs> I had time to go through all the footage that had got jumbled on my uh, external hard drive. I've got that organized and I think I'm ready to go. So I'm going to start now and we're going to get right into it. Um, starting on July 13th with me leaving my hometown of Windsor, Ontario, headed to go back to meet Jacques. Good morning everyone. July 13th, I am heading out on the road for uh, the first time since the Niagara tour. I'm heading up to Quebec to meet Jacques. We're going to do a little ride up there somewhere. Not to, not uh, too sure yet where we're going to do. We'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, um, uh, this trip is kind of one that uh, sprung up for me uh, on the spur of the moment. Um, my mental health has been struggling so I uh, kind of have to get out there. Along the way I have no set route how to get there. I am kind of just winging it. I'm going day by day. I have a landing spot for today. Um, I'll fill you in on that later if it turns out to be uh, feasible. But anyways this is long overdue. I need to get out there. My mental health has been struggling. We'll talk more about that later and uh, yeah let's get on the road. All right, I hope you can hear me over the wind. This is just my phone. Like I said, I'm gonna be using shorts to kind of document this trip. Just traveling along on the Herb Gray this morning, got a really nice tailwind. That's the 401 highway right there. Anybody familiar with uh, major highways in Canada? And yeah, head it this way. Beautiful day for riding though. Gear uh, setup feels really good. Bags are a little heavier than they might be usually just cause I kind of have uh, extra food and stuff. Three liters of water pretty much so pretty stocked up gonna hit the road all right i was wrong we didn't that we're going over under that hill got off the herb gray um did not realize there was construction here on cabana and windsor so it is what it is just to the end of this construction here About two kilometers. Don't be afraid to uh, ride in construction, guys. You have a right to the road too, unless you can backtrack and it's not too crazy. But all 
All right, we got off that busy road. Basically still in Windsor, but uh, out of the main uh, urban park. Still doesn't feel like a trip for me because this is where I'm from. I know all this. So until we get out, I won't feel the uh, mental load start to lessen, hopefully. All right, still working our way here on Baseline Road, just outside of Windsor. And uh, yeah, just working along. It's gonna be a road day. I wanted to jump on this uh, future rail trail that's gonna be an extension of the Chrysler Greenway, but uh, it rained all night last night and I don't wanna put my bike through that rate on the first day. So let's get back on the trail, or in this case, on the road. Roads are quiet, we're going to be largely moving through farm country, so even more reason why there's not going to be a ton of video from the first couple days. And I just want to shake the cobwebs out, like I said. Alright, I've been looking for somewhere good to pull over, to go to the bathroom, have a bite to eat. And I think I'm going to go to this... Uh, wind turbine here it's about to call it a windmill but let's be honest these aren't windmills these are wind turbines look at that bad boy they're way if anybody's never seen them up close either only on tv or passing by in a car they're massive i technically didn't see any no trespassing signs so not on so you won't be able to hear how horrendously loud they are but that's her all right just stopped off along the side of the road about 30 kilometers out at Windsor it's under this wind turbine here inoperable right now I think it's because the winds are uh, switch, switch, uh, transitioning, so they're not uh, on right now until the winds stabilize. I'm not sure. I don't know how these things work, but. Good day for riding so far. Like I said, I'm familiar with this area, so I'm still feeling a little uh, weighed down from the stresses I've been having the last little bit here. But um, yeah, really happy to be out, regardless of the fact that I'm still a little bit stressed out. I'm sure it's all going to come around and everything's going to come up roses. That's the attitude I got to have anyways. I know it's going to be a lot harder than that, what I got to do to get better. Um, I realize now that it's not just riding my bike that's going to do that. I have to reach out for help and I have. I just have to wait a little bit here. So um, that's what I'm doing and I figure I might as well wait while I'm touring. So let's get back at it. All right, little taste of gravel. Wasn't sure how it would be after the rains, but uh pretty good. I'm wondering how much rain they got out here. Winds seem to want to be trying to switch around a bit. Give me a little more favorable tailwind. Not complaining this crosswind, cross light tailwind's not bad. Sweet, more gravel. The little bit of rain that it seems happened out here, uh, all it did was help keep the dust down, which is fantastic. That's the only downside to gravel road traveling, is the dust really, really kills the drive train. Fantastic. Our friend the sun, yeah. Working through corn country here, looking for Darlene's Cafe and Bakery. Sounds delightful.
is the warming with the sun. Love it. My bones need it. Traveling later, right along the 401. I don't believe you're allowed to ride bikes on there and you really wouldn't want to. A lot of trucks. Very heavy truck action heading to right where I live in Windsor, Ontario to get across the border at the Ambassador Bridge. You can see all the trucks. Just rolling into a Flying J truck stop here. I think we're probably about 60k in, so a little overdue for stopping actually. But explain more in a second. All right, like I said, at the Flying J, I put down a hot dog, bought some water, and that's about it. So uh, yeah, we've got about 38k to get to this conservation area where I want to camp at CM Wilson, I think it's called. So. Let's get to it. Um, favorable winds, you might hear it. They are pretty much tailwinds. I've had to, I'm taking all the uh, county roads, so I'm kind of having to go up and across and up and across every once in a while. So um, every once in a while, I catch a bit of the wind and uh, really glad I'm not having to work into it all day. So anyways, let's do this. Just coming into Tilbury here. No one for its uh, auto, auto sales. sales places, car lots, sorry, could not think of the name, the words. on some grav. Pretty quick 80. Probably actually more about 75 actually, but still. grab day sort of sort of half and half this road's a little chunkier as far as uh, gravel but 1120s made for this well not this exactly but all this kind of stuff beautiful lilies growing along the side of this wheat field here turn the camera on kind of late good like 10 15 kilometer stretch of gravel here with no cars road's a little up and down like bumpy I should probably let some air out of my tires but that's how you get a sore butt bouncing up and down like that oh I thought I was finally gonna have a car go by me but they turned yeah I was about to say about 10k gravel road and uh, no cars have gone by either way obviously people travel this road they live people live out here so I'm getting lucky I guess shouldn't have said anything Probably screwed my sail. So yeah, I've been cruising along on the gravel uh, roads here. I think I just had a 20 kilometer stretch where I didn't have a car pass me either direction. Um, I had cars pull out ahead of me thinking that they might come by, but they actually went in the same direction I was going. So good uh, luck on that stretch of road and uh, obviously pretty quiet as well. So a uh, little more gravel and then we are almost at the park i think about nine kilometers to the conservation area sorry um we'll see what happens i'm not sure how much it's going to cost i've had people say that uh, cyclists don't even pay when they go there but uh i'll see what happens when i get there i know it's a pay and display there's no one there to take money so i don't know i'd prefer to pay and not get kicked out so we'll see what happens when we get there Uh, 
it only makes sense that the first vehicle in about 30 kilometers of gravel would be a, tra a farm piece of farm equipment, a tractor. We are in farm country. But yeah, sweet. That looks like a Canada Post truck up ahead on the up ahead on the left. been so quiet it feels like a weekend out out here but it's Thursday pretty quiet day once I got out of Windsor really What a nice break from being out on those open gravel roads. Feels luxurious in the shade. Lots of potholes though, so. We've arrived at our campsite. What campsite number did we get? 84, I think. Pretty sure this is gonna be ours. Yeah, 84. Really nice spot. So there's a children's safety area over straight ahead there. Um, and it's a big uh, nature spot. So I don't really think I have to worry about too many people going down this path right here. But um, if I'm set up here, I'm sure no one's gonna do that. At least anybody with any courtesy so yeah this looks like a really good spot i like the shade had to administer the uh muscal immediately though um swarmed by uh mosquitoes the size of hummingbirds all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get camp set up and um, then i'm gonna do a quick close and then i'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day to relax because i haven't been able to do that for a long time so yeah, let me get set up. I'll show you the setup and then do a close. And um, yeah, I'll kind of see if I can figure out where I'm going to go tomorrow. But I'll probably let you know that tomorrow morning um, as I'll probably check that while I'm sitting around relaxing. Anyways, let's get set up. Right, as you can see, I've gotten changed. I'm about to have some dinner. Um, so CM Wilson, seems like a pretty decent place to camp, except for one thing. Sure, there's uh, showers and uh, toilets and all that, but I just walked in there and I almost, I walked right out. Uh, the toilets, all of them, ship bombs went off in them. The shower is absolutely disgusting. The floor is absolutely unacceptable. So CM Wilson, I would probably try and avoid it. If you need a place with bathrooms, then why else would you come to these places? That's part of it. I didn't have an overly hot day, so I don't need the shower. But if I did, what a disappointment this would be. So um, anyways, enough of that. CM Wilson, not the greatest place as far as the facilities go. So all set up, about to have some dinner. I've got a sweet kale kit. 
So yeah, I'm gonna fire that down. I've got some bacon I made at home, was eating a cliff bar. Oh, the beauty of technology. One of the best pieces of kit I bought in a while. It sucks blowing the air mattress up after a long day. And for me, I know I get really lightheaded too, so really good. I'm happy I got that. Really good day of riding. Felt really good for riding 100 kilometers considering I haven't done any distance in about a month. So very satisfied with that. So anyways, like I said, guys, I got out here because my mental health was at an all time low and still kind of is obviously I just it's the first day but um, my life is in a very volatile state right now my living situation is very unstable um, so you know um, being out here it's uh, very I'm not I, I don't have the necessary financial means to be doing this but I have to for my mental health so having said that if anybody would like to help out me out with my patreon or the buy me a coffee is a really good way to do it or the heart with the dollar sign under the videos you're watching is also another one-time way to do it too so if anybody would like to help keep me on the road here until i get my situation figured out with getting some help with my mental health um i'm in the press of waiting for a doctor because that's a thing in ontario but yeah if anybody would like to help me out on the road i would really really appreciate it and like i said patreon buy me a coffee and the the super thanks are all great ways that you can do that. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna check out for tonight and I will see you in the morning.